Yo what's up guys it's Aptrex here finally we have a brand new update of the Winlater Frost Windows emulator for Android devices probably one of the best Windows emulators out there now finally Winlater Frost version 10.1 has released after almost one and a half months of no update you guys can see over 1.1 million people have tried out this emulator and that's for a reason it gets amazing customizability lot of bug fixes amazing support for games as well now this is a completely open source fork version of Winlater Android and let me show you guys the minimum requirement for this simulator you need at least android version 8 or above along with that 3 to 4 gb of ram but 6 gb is actually recommended here are the supported graphics drivers for winlater frost we get the turnip driver support vortex as well as virgil now if you guys know then vortex graphics driver recently got a major update in the official winlater android and that is carried forward to the winlater frost that is the fork version of original winlater you guys can see turnip is also present for snapdragon processor android devices virgil which is universal for all gpus such as power vr Eclipse etc. With all of that out of the way, you will need to remove the original Winlater Android if you want to try the Winlater Frost or even if you have folk versions of the original Winlater Android such as Winlater O mode etc. You will need to remove this and then only you can try out the Winlater Frost. Now right here you guys can see 2 days ago Winlater Frost officially came back with Winlater Frost 10.1 version 1. Right here is the change log, change the theme color of the main UI app, refresh the logo and wallpaper, updated box 64 environment, applied some environment variables in container settings from previous version, remove DXVK configuration for improved more performance by the way restore D3D test along with that the improvements and bug fixes have been made. Along with that few more internal changes have been done related to box 64 prefix and much more. With all of that out of the way right here you guys can see I have already added the winlater frost on my android device so let's tap on the allow button and wait until it has been successfully set up. Immediately the first thing that you will notice is the change in theme of this emulator. It contains brand new colors and wallpaper and even logo for this emulator that is completely unique and I personally really like this quite a lot. You will notice that in Winlater Frost you don't get the additional settings like the Winlater C mode because Winlater Frost does not have the Winlater C mode specific settings so if you want best amount of features then you need to go with Winlater C mode instead. In terms of box 64 you guys can even import the latest box 64 0.3.7 afterwards preset make sure to set it to performance, duplicate the performance preset afterwards set the safe flags level to 0 and tap on ok. Once that has been done we'll create ourselves a brand new Winlater Frost container and set settings as usual we'll go with the 800 by 600 for the screen size and in terms of graphics driver we'll go with Vortex graphics driver in terms of Adreno tools driver it will be selected as system i am not really sure if it is supported for mali gpu like the original winlater android but you also get the option for turnip Adreno graphics driver where if you have a snapdragon processor android device go with this graphics driver you can also import the newer versions of turnip graphics driver like the 25.2.0 you can use turnip only if you have snapdragon 8 gen 3 processor or below. Now as I have a Snapdragon 8 Elite processor, I'll go with the Vortec Universal Graphics Driver. In terms of DX wrappers, we have DXVK and by default it is set to 2.4.11. So we'll keep it as default, we'll enable Show FPS Audio Driver, set it to Pulse Audio. Afterwards everything else you guys can keep it as default. Just go to Box64 preset and select the performance preset that we just created. Startup selection make sure to set it to aggressive, Windows version set it to Windows 7 and that's about it. We have applied ourselves the best settings for Winlater Frost. Now I have added the directory where I have stored my PC games inside the simulator. Afterwards I have successfully created our Winlater container. So without wasting any more time let's launch our container and start testing out games for today's video. Even in the wallpaper of the home screen of our Windows emulator we have the Winlater Frost new look logo and the new theming which looks pretty amazing in my opinion. We also get additional settings such as active windows, magnifier, screen effect, PIP mode etc which are general in the normal version of Winlater Android. Now the place where it stands out is the start section. So here you guys can see there are a lot of new settings including the wrapper graphics driver. So it says wrapper light and it even has the Ajay prefix. Now Winlater Ajay prefix provides you with better performance and better optimization so you guys can follow these steps but instead of using the Ajay prefix I want to try out the original stock win later instead but wrapper graphics driver support is also amazing that's pretty cool we get system tools so we'll go to test direct 3d to see how much fps do we actually get with the vortex graphics driver and you guys can see for yourself snapdragon 8 elite is performing amazingly with almost 3 to 4 thousand fps while rendering this 3d 
cube you also get fixes and even wine patches which are pretty amazing but most probably you don't really need to use any of this because windows emulation on android is getting stabler and stabler even for low end mali gpu android devices with all of that out of the way let's start off by testing out gta 5 inside the winlator frost to see how much fps do we get i have a clear benchmark idea of how much performance do we get in winlator c mode we get the most amount of performance like around 40 42 fps in winlator o mode we get around 30 25 to 30 fps and let's find out how much fps can we get in winlator Frost. So here we go, our game has successfully started. While it's being loaded, we'll go to input controls, we'll go to settings, profile, make sure to import your own custom profile. By tapping on import profile, go to the second section and select the GTA 5 on-screen touch controls profile. Well, unfortunately, you guys need to do this now because uh, the custom controller options which will later Frost used to provide on-screen touch controls, obviously, is now removed. That was pretty useful uh, in the past when we had the general on-screen touch controls profile, but that has been removed, unfortunately. Well, I forgot to add a save file in my GTA so I'll just add the save file and I'll be back. Here we go guys, after waiting for a few seconds, our GTA 5 has successfully started and immediately the first thing which I'm noticing is that it does not have as many stuttering issues as win later O mode. So comparatively at the top left corner, we are getting about 30 FPS, which I'll fix by going to the escape section and turning off the V-Sync. We'll go to graphics, enable full screen mode as well as turn off V-Sync. Once that has been done, you can check out the graphics settings which I'm using. It is almost high to very high graphics. Graphics. So this is pretty amazing. We can finally play games like GTA 5 on our Android devices without any crashing issues that too at really high graphics. At the top left corner, now you guys can see we are getting about 48 to 50 FPS. Isn't that cool? Let's enter the outside world areas and still you guys can see we are getting almost 50 FPS inside the Winlater C mode which is really impressive. I have never gotten this amount of performance in Winlater Android's original folks at all. Even the Winlater O mode which we tried out recently did not give me this amount of performance which we are seeing right here inside the winlator frost so this is actually amazing just remember the snapdragon 8 elite processor is not that optimized even though it is very powerful it is not that optimized inside the winlator android and unlike the game hub emulator this game is running with ultra graphics almost very high graphics whereas in game hub emulator gta 5 uses a custom configuration to run better with higher fps even with the terrible graphics driver support we are getting very playable amounts of performance performance and that is saying something which is really great because win later frost is performing much better than any of the other win later android folks the performance is almost that of win later c mode so if you want to try out something new you can go with the win later frost on your low-end android devices i'm honestly happy with the performance that we are getting and if you guys want to watch a full gta 5 gameplay video of this emulator then let's hit 200 likes on this video anyways that's going to be it for today's video thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time goodbye